Hey, what's up moms? Welcome back to Mommy Sleep Me. And in today's craft video, we are going to be changing Oliver's bathroom into dinosaurs. In fact, this video had to be recorded separately for audio because my audio messed up. Yay! Thankfully, most of it's not in my face, so it's okay. So, as I've talked about in previous videos, I'll, um, when we did his bathroom craft before, I did it in, like, moons and stars and stuff. I'll have one to link it up here. Um, I wasn't sure if Oliver was going to love the dinosaurs as much as I wanted him to, so I didn't want to oversaturate by doing his bathroom in dinosaurs. So, I did it in something a little light instead based on the sign that I had. That was given to me as a gift and then he kind of became obsessed and so then i decided you know now that he's potty trained and he spends a lot more time in his bathroom um that it made sense to go ahead and change it over into a big boy bathroom and so i decided i wanted to do it in the dinosaurs of course um because he really really likes them now and is super obsessed so um that's kind of my main plan for um this craft video so um this is a video clip of my uh, first part of what his bathroom looks like right now. So, I think I've mentioned this before. The reason I did Oliver's room and like space stuff is because my one of the first things my mom got him or bought for me after he was born was this. I'm actually going to hang that up in his play area in the living room along with some other stuff. But this is going to come down. Um, I also have the love you to the moon and back. Love you to the moon and back thing. That's going away. The yellow rugs are going away. Um, and then the craft that I did the other time. And then um, he's all this. So the first thing I have to do, yay toddlers, is I have to clean up the bathroom. So I'm going to clean up the bathroom first, and then we're going to jump into the craft part. And I'm going to take these. Um, these are 10 by 10 canvases that I'm going to do wash, brush, blush on. Um, I've got some letters that I cut out in a dino font. I'm going to put that on there as well as the uh, some dinosaurs for just to add to it. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. Um, on this one, I'm going to be doing um, the full alphabet in dinosaur letters and adding dinosaurs as well. Um, so these are my dinosaur letters. As you see, the green is going to be the bottom layer. It has like little spikes at it. So then the orange is going to go on top of that. Um, and I picked those colors because they match the new shower curtain that I got as well. So pretty pumped about this. Um, the colors I was a little nervous about, but they actually ended up coming out really well as far as matching once they were cut. Um, I did not show me cutting this out on the Cricut. If you guys would like content like that where you see a little more step by step, you see the design space and how we cut things, please let me know. I'm happy to add that stuff, but it does take up a lot of time on the video. So I typically don't add it, but if you're interested, just let me know and I'll start, um, including that in my craft videos for when I use the Cricut. If you guys want to see that, just let me know. So these are my little dinosaurs. These I have to put on transfer tape because they don't have a protective sheet on them like these, um, which you've seen me do probably several times in other videos. So I'm going to start with uh, my large canvas. You have to, um, because canvas is on wood, you have to get a, uh, a towel or something thick to put under it so that it pushes it up because when you apply pressure, it dips down because of the wood outline. So um, you have to do um, a towel underneath it to keep so that it, it goes on like it's supposed to. So these are my dinosaurs. Super obsessed with these like gradient color pattern vinyls that you can get from JSI, which is we talked about this place before. I love them so much. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where I want them to go. So I originally set everything up in my Cricut to make sure everything is going to line up before I cut it. But for whatever reason, because I cut these dinosaurs two different times, I didn't save the placement of where they were. So I was like, well, and I just had to guess. I can't remember. It all worked out in the end. 
Uh, yeah, so I think we're going to probably speed up this part. Um, because these were coming up a little bit, I do have to take a few extra cautions when I'm like doing the stick, when I'm trying to do the transfer, because I don't want them to get messed up in that process, because then they'll press weird and they'll look really bad. So um, the pterodactyl was fine, um, but some of the other ones that started to come up, I had to be a little careful. So you just add them to your transfer tape like that, rub them down, make sure they pick up fine, peel them. Love the transfer tape that JSI gives you with these prints. It is so nice and it works really, really well. And you can use it multiple times, like a lot actually, before you have to get rid of it, depending on how many projects you do. Um, but this is for their HTV um, because of the way it's printed on these like giant sheets. So yeah, so we're gonna start out doing 15 seconds at 275. Um, and again, because the canvas has the wood, it's a little difficult sometimes to know for sure if you've gotten it like where it needs to go um, because it dips with the wood, even with a towel underneath it. So, and then this, this does have to cool off like just a little bit before we can peel it um, to make sure that it adheres. And then I forgot to add the Teflon sheet. So the bottom part of the Cricut, the gray, silvery, metally part, will mark up any canvas that you use. And it doesn't matter if it's painted or not. So anytime that you are using a heat press on a canvas, you want to use a Teflon sheet to protect the canvas from markings from your press. Go ahead and ask me how I learned that one. So I'm going to get ready to do my letters now. Um, the green is the background because it has the spikes. So we're going to do that one first and then I'll lay the orange on top of it. Um, I really like this weird green. So I'm, I'm a big fan. So, um, fun fact, I do not have a history of being very great at lighting things up and making them centered. So that's so fun. Um, but I, uh, you know, I've gotten better with practice. So, and I was, and I made a point to cut these all in one sheet. I did not want to do these letters individually and line them all up because that would have been a disaster. So I'm just trying to set this up. And, um, after I do this, I'm going to do the orange on top of it. Um, so this I have to do in sections because it's so long and the press is small. Um, fun fact, that press is actually a press that Melinda got. Um, this I think it's like on a craft page or something. I can't quite remember. But this lady was getting rid of that press and a bunch of supplies. Not as much HTV as we hoped. It was mostly sticker vinyl, which we loathe. But um, so that press is, is substantially older than the one that I have that's on the floor. You can kind of see it on the floor there. Um, and it works better than my brand new press. That, that press has only been used a few times and I don't trust it. I'd rather use this little one, which is why I'm not using the big one, which would cover more of the canvas. So I have to do this in sections. So I basically am going to go over it in 15 second increments all the way down. Um, after I do the first top half, I'm going to slide my canvas um, a little bit and adjust the towel so the towel is on the bottom half so that it gives me that solid um bottom or a uh, solid i don't know foundation i don't know what the right word is um so that i'm able to press the bottom half as well so and it peeled so beautifully so one really nice thing about um having something other than just the flat canvas like the parts where the dinosaurs are is the vinyl sticks so much better instantly because it's not trying to grip that awkward texture of the canvas which is really cool um, so that one is done. So now we're going to do the orange and the orange. So I always have, every time I ever do layers with anything, I almost always have to cut out pieces of it to make everything line up because even though you test it and it's supposed to line up perfectly, it almost never does. I don't know if I'm the only one that struggles with that, but it's a pain in the butt. So what I end up having to do here is I'm going to lay it over to try to line the letters up because you're not supposed to see the other part of the letters. The green part is supposed to be just orange with green spikes. Um, and so I end up cutting it in half and then the V is a total pain in the ass and I have to cut it out and then do it separate. And here we are. We're going to get ready to peel this part off. Um, I think, um, yeah, I started at the bottom this time. Start with the stupid V that didn't want to cooperate. It's, I actually did pretty good with lining these up. Sometimes it's really difficult. It just depends on the project. I love layered looks. I think they make them look so, I don't know, just really neat, like certain designs and stuff, but they, they can be a pain in the butt. And you don't ever want to do too many layers, especially on clothing, 
if you're doing a layered design on a shirt, the more layers you have, the more likely you are to have issues with the vinyl after you've washed it, even if you're really careful. So it's better to do. But on canvas, it doesn't matter. So ta-da, alphabet. My God, it turned out so freaking cute. I was really proud of it. I didn't know how the colors were going to come together. I was really nervous. I just kind of went on a whim and picked out stuff to do it in, but it actually turned out really nice. All right. So that towel is not at all going to work for the 10 by 10 canvases. So I'm going to have to switch it out. I thought at first that my smaller towel, because this one is actually a little bit smaller than the other one was going to work, but I think I've never done, um, stretched canvas like this, this small. So I was like, Oh, I'll make it work. And then I was like, no. And then, so I'm cutting up my other dinosaurs for these 10 by 10 canvases. Um, cause they're all going to go on separate and I ended up changing a lot of what I did with this because again, I didn't save my positioning for them. So I couldn't remember where they went and I ended up like changing it, but it, it's fine. All is, all is well. You have to be adaptable in the craft world. I find it helps a lot. Um, yeah, that one's giant. I don't know what I thought I was going to do with that giant ass triceratops. We're just gonna, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to move those. I'm still at this point thinking, oh, this towel is going to work, even though it's still massive compared to a 10 by 10 canvas. So, um, hmm. this is me trying to pull up where the dinosaurs go. And this is that sad moment where I realized, hmm, didn't save it. So I ended up getting a toddler towel or a baby towel because it's so much smaller than the <laughs> regular towel. Um, it was still kind of bulky, but, um, it worked a lot better, I think, for doing these 10 by 10 canvases. I just have never, I don't, I guess I haven't done small ones. So it just, I wasn't prepared. I was like, oh, it's going to fit. And then it definitely didn't fit. So, yay. Perfect. Beautiful. Wonderful. We're good to go. Um, and then I'm going to cut up my letters because obviously they cut together. So then you just have to cut them apart to get them ready. I really saw some really cute ones. I just was like, no, I don't want to buy them. I'm going to make them. Different type of feeling when you make it, especially because I feel like when Oliver gets up, I forgot a freaking part of the A, go figure. <laughs> um, I think when Oliver gets up from his nap today, I think, um, I think he's going to be really excited and knowing that I was a part in creating that excitement is part of why I prefer to make his stuff. Um, as opposed to like buying it. Plus it saves a lot of money. I already had all of these canvases. Um, and, uh, I had help getting the vinyl, but you know, it just it ended up not being like a super expensive project because I was already going to do it anyway. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to line up my green first here. Um, cover, protect my canvas up. do 15 seconds the 10 by 10 canvases were um were actually not horrible as far as the wood until I feel like I got to the very last one that I did um but you do have to just be mindful of if any of your design touches the wood you have to be mindful of where you put your heat press and then I lost track of time and I was like oh shit it's been more than 15 seconds <laughs> booyah I really do love this green. It's very, it's a very unique green. Something I don't know down it. It's so pretty. And the orange is going to go on top of that. This lined up so much easier than the full alphabet. I really don't understand the logic and stuff not lining up when you cut it the exact same. Like if it's layered on top of each other when you start, why does it not line up? It's so annoying. We're going to peel our orange. And now we're going to get our dinosaurs ready and we're going to speed that part up. You've already seen me do the transfer tape. So I'm going to get my dinosaurs ready and ready to wrap. Here's our dinosaurs. It's so pretty. Fix that. Put it up there because it's totally not a fire hazard. Craft Angel is crazy angel. Okay. So there's my wash. Um, and then we're just going to do, you know, the other ones. We're going to do the flush and uh, brush next, which is, um, you know, super fun and exciting, right? And I was trying to remember, I was like, I don't remember how I set these up when I originally, I just knew I wanted them to all be different. 
um, with the different dinosaurs. So I was like, well, I'll just put the word flush and then I'll do like a big dinosaur at the bottom because I had that giant triceratops. Fun fact, way too big. <laughs> he was not going to work. But the other one that I had cut and ended up not using for the alphabet was like, it was like a red light, like a, a light bulb went off. I was like, ooh, I bet this will work. And it was substantially smaller. So it's freaking perfect. Like it all worked out. Meant to be. Yeah, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to layer, add our dinosaur. We'll fast forward to that part or speed up that, to that part. So here, after I um, press, so this is when it starts to get, like I said earlier, where it gets a little questionable because it's not, um, sometimes it's hard to tell what, <laughs> what parts you're hitting with it. So I just went back over it because there were some pieces that weren't coming up. And, um, or I'm sorry, there were pieces that were coming up and not staying down. So I did go over it just a little bit more here, um, to make sure it was going to stay flat. I'm like, okay, cool off, have some water. It is so hot in the craft room. I cannot wait for it to, for the weather to change. It gets so hot in this room, especially when that press is going. So I have my fan on high. I'm not even sure if you can hear it or not, but it is so hot in this room, even without the press. So it gets so much worse with it. I'm just waiting on this to cool because sometimes it needs that to adhere to the canvas properly. So let me just very carefully push it back down because I don't want to have to try it again. I'm like, oh, let's start it down here this time. <laughs> um, it does benefit often to peel from the side than like versus up and, an up and down fashion. So that's what I did. It's like, okay, looking good, looking good. <laughs> These are the things I think when I'm doing it. Just, you know. Fun fact. Because I want them to be perfect. I don't want them to look janky. Ta-da! And there's our flush. Fix that. Push everything down. Make sure it looks good. Ain't nothing extra weird on it. There were some pieces, I think, that bubbled up on the um, the triceratops. So we I ended up going back over it. It's like, huh, let me just push this part down a little bit more. Because what I don't want to happen is I don't want it to be in a bathroom where there's moisture and then it starts to peel off and look like garbage. So, ta-da, flush. So, uh, next we're going to do our brush. Um, Oliver likes to come to the craft room and destroy things. So, this canvas is not as clean as the other. There's like paint or something on it that he, I, I don't know. But it was the only other canvas that I had and I wasn't going to buy a new set for this one. So, I was like, well, we're going to use it anyway. Um, if it starts to bug me too much, I may go back and paint over it in white because I can, I mean, you can do that to cover it up, but I want to see, see how I feel, um, after I've looked, had to look at it for a while. I really should have made these letters a little bit shorter. Um, this was kind of a bit of an issue. I had to go back over it quite a few times because of the wood, but, uh, we'll, uh, we'll move this part along until, uh, till the end with the dinosaur. Use the Teflon for protection. I'm like, oh man. Surprisingly, the pressing part doesn't really take that long, depending on what you're doing. It's usually the cutting and weeding part that takes the longest. I'm, like, mm, I'm going to do it for the whole time because <laughs> I was worried about it not coming up. There were no pieces on the wood, but fun fact, this one did this one did, uh, did prove to be a pain in the ass. And I'm pretty sure it's because it's the last one. So like I start to peel and it's like all coming up and it's really annoying. I had to redo it. Like I had to go over it a few more times, um, you know, just to make sure that it was going to stay flat. So I was worried it wasn't going to. Um, so yeah, I was like, oh, please stay, please stay. And it didn't work. We'll skip to that part. There we go. It got there. It just takes some time. You gotta be able, like I said, you gotta be adaptable in the craft world. You gotta be able to do it, roll with the punches. As Melinda and I say, if you don't have something go wrong while you're crafting, you're not doing it right. Which is pretty fair. Um, actually. <laughs> As far as the reality of crafting, because every single time we do something, something goes wrong. And it, it's like you love it, 
You love to do it, but it drives you crazy at the same time. Okay, so I'm waiting on it to cool again, try to peel it off again. I think this time I was successful. I don't think I ended up having to do it too many more times. I think that was about it. But it's just one of those things, like, for some reason, it just is all dependent upon your pressure, where you move the heat press, like, I don't know. And then I dropped that and had sheer panic. And then I caught it and moved it so it didn't do it again. <laughs> Get lost in the abyss that is behind the dresser. I was like, I'm going to start at this end this time. Yeah, it, it went a lot better <laughs> this time than the first time. Um, I don't have like a, I, like, I feel like sometimes you can do the exact same technique like 150 times and it just does not make a difference sometimes. So there we go. And then I was torn. So I didn't, I don't like a lot of negative space. Um, I think it's the correct term. So I was like, oh, do I want to add, like, I had a couple of smaller dinosaurs left that I could have used. So there's like this moment of contemplation. I'm like, Hmm. What do I want to do? I'm like, do I want to put the little dinosaurs? Because I had a couple left. It's like, hmm, no, that would look too crazy. It would have been too full, I think. Um, but I was, I was thinking, I was contemplating. I was like, maybe. But then I was like, hmm, nah. It'll be too much, and then I'll be mad that I did too much, and that that's kind of how it went. So I was like, never mind, we're done. <laughs> I'm like, ta-da! And that's that. So, I'm um, getting ready to do uh, the video after this. We'll show you the rest of the process and what it looked like. Okay, here we are. Oliver's new bathroom. This beautiful artwork. I got these colors spot freaking on. I cannot believe it. And we're done. So uh, let me know what you think of this craft video. What other kind of crafts you'd like to see. If you want to see more of the Cricut stuff, let me know. Um, sorry about the voiceover part for the other part. Our recording, the thing we used to record and, um, stuff has uh, been so weird lately. So, uh, anyway, make sure you like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts, share it out. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you get notified when new content comes out. Uh, and of course we're on the socials, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Momsly Me. And I will, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye moms.